Welcome back. We've just raised this bridge. Although we can't get there right now because we'd have to walk this way around. And there's electricity blocking us. Although actually if you think about it, if we just walk into the electricity it respawns us here so we can get there if we wanted to. But let's look around here a little bit more the first. Secret warrior surveys the wrecked village. Yeah, we're past that point, Olmec. Um, I guess we could go down these stairs. These pathways are not strong. Or not. So I guess the only way we can go is this way. And yeah. Every time I go there and the pathway breaks, the camera gets stuck. The way to get it unstuck is to either walk into the electricity or go down the staircase. So now it's following me again. Um, let's see, we can go to the left up here. This weight is just in front here, it's not actually blocking anything. Or we can go straight. Oh, um, I guess we can't go there, wherever that was. Alright, this looks kind of hard, so if I can avoid it, I will. And it looks like this path just goes around it, so why wouldn't I go this way? Ah, uh, must take care in this old place. Because it breaks. Okay, I guess we have to take the hard way. Let's see. All three, then the outer two, then the middle one. Should be too bad. I mean, if I can beat Crash Bandicoot, I can do this, right? Except these controls suck. Oh, okay. Well, I just walked too far there. Alright, now we're back here. Helpful. Actually, it's not too bad, because now we can go over here. Let's see what this does. That raised that weight, so I guess this was the counterweight for that. Which means we can go over there now, but I kind of want to check what's down here first. Now we're on the opposite side of that electricity, or magic, or I don't really know. I'm calling it electricity. And let's just follow the path and hope nothing else breaks. This staircase is the one that broke before. So we can't go there. And now we're actually below this path. We're not on it, so we can't go to those stairs. We can go to these, though. And, oh, that actually takes us to the other side of this difficult bit, so that's convenient. Giant spider web here. All right, let's see. That's first the f first one, then the second one, then both together. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, the controls are not helping. As usual. Oh, damn it! I did that wrong. That was my fault. All right, get the walk all the way around again. Which is great, except that it's not. Fortunately, it's not too far. All right, I need to wait for the one to go by itself, then I can go. And the other one, and then quickly pass. All right, that worked. I guess this takes us to the giant head. These pathways are not strong. Or not. Come on, you could jump that. I know you're made of stone, but you could probably still jump that. 
Fine, I'll find another way around. Well, since we can't do anything else here, might as well just go back to the beginning this way. And now go over here. Alright, more electricity. Alright, let's just go in sequence. That's not too bad. Uh, looks like we can go down here or to these two staircases. Alright, looks like we can only go down there. Oh. Hey, we actually get to see underneath one of those uh, pathways instead of just being obscured. And there is a lever here. Which lowers that gate. Good. And that takes us to the other side of the weight, and then down here, there's another lever. This lever locks the gate in place. Oh, well that's good. If you did not do that, then walking over here will cause the gate to raise again. Getting flashbacks of Prince of Persia here. The original, I mean. And we've made it to the giant head. Can actually walk into its mouth. Can sometimes be a bit finicky to get through the opening. And I guess this is the tomb of Quetzalcoatl. The death mask of Quetzalcoatl. Which is what he uses to get his power from, so hopefully we can use it to defeat him. Baby, you had an awful fall. I'm so glad you've come home. Home? Well, of course, silly. You did want to come home, didn't you? Yes, I, I wanted to... Well, then that's that. Hush now, Max. When you fell down the chimney, you bumped your head, and now you're a little confused, that's all. My... My head hurts. I remember hitting it. That's right, dear. You hit your head on the chimney. Now don't give it another thought. I'll take care of you. Chimney? No, I... I hit it... No, I hit it on... In... My... My... Car? No, of course not, dear. You just bumped... Yes, my car. I was driving and... The brakes... But Max... We've been waiting for you for so long. Don't leave now. We? Who? Why, me and little Sarah, of course. <laughs> Who else would it be, silly? But... But that's impossible. Sarah is dead! Sarah! Max is home! Max! You're home, you're home! I missed you! You're alive! My God, Sarah! You're... No! You're dead! Your tenacity is quite remarkable, you know. Your doctor tells me that you should have died in the car wreck. I wish things could have worked out differently, Max, but they didn't. You leave me little choice, old friend. Did you honestly expect me to sit by while you went public with your cure? No. I've worked much, much too hard to allow that. 
I guess this is goodbye, Max. I'm truly sorry it had to end like this. Farewell. The Gauntlet, Chapter 9. Quetzal Quattle murdering an entire village. Morgan trying to kill me. Now I see the connections. None of this is real. Indeed. None of it was real. We have actually been in the hospital in the entire time. Presumably in a coma. And everything, including... Losing momentum. Including the segments in the asylum were all fake. It was all in our head. Us trying to remember what happened. And it seems that we found a cure for the DNA V virus that was affecting children worldwide. And Morgan, who wanted to make money and get famous off of his hope uh, drug, which was not a cure, but a treatment. And would therefore be needed forever, basically. Wanted to stop us from um, releasing our cure, and therefore he cut our brakes so we would die in the crash, but that does not appear to have happened. And it seems that all of this has been happening so that we can remember what's going on, and hopefully find our way back to the waking world. But it seems we may have to hurry with that because Dr. Morgan just put something in our RV which presumably is not good. Now where are we though? And why did we just shift between the three different characters? Well, I guess it's true. You can't go home again. Not inside your head, you can't. Yeah, we can't walk back in either. What is that? It looks like a giant... eye. Yeah, the background here is the... Uh, weird. Even weirder than what we've seen so far. If we check our inventory, we actually have three items. Sarah's doll. Using that... Turns you into Sarah. Now? I have to hold on to my real identity. I am Max. Then we have An Aztec statue, which turns you into Olmec. A Grimwall comic book, which turns you into Grimwall. So yeah, we can switch at will, and you can actually also use the keyboard to do that. Those were the three mystery key bindings in the menu in the beginning. So S turns you into Sarah, O turns you into Olmec, and G turns you into Grimwall. I like being Grimwall because he's fast. All right, what are we supposed to do here? Looks like some stuff is getting mixed together because that looks like the pumpkin patch and this looks like it's like a clown thing, maybe. There's also a graveyard here. A headstone. It says, Jonas Bruner, he deserved to die. That's kind of harsh. A tombstone. Chris P, see you in hell. Okay. A headstone. This one says, Chris S, one beer too many. The stone reads, Jetta Driscoll. Oh. What does this headless apparition want from me? That is a good question. What does this headless apparition want from me? We have nothing for him, though, so... Can't give him anything. Steam escaping from a hole in the pipe. All right. A giant clown head. What an eyesore. Yeah, it seems like all of our different delusions are blending together here. Let's see what we can do with this pumpkin patch over here. A wall of impaled pumpkins. A circle of children. Are they playing a game? 
We saw something similar with the singing children in the... In the village, I guess. They're standing around another giant eye, so... That makes sense. There seems to be a skull there. I wonder if that's what the... Mr. Headless Horseman without the horse over here wants. Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. Looks like we can't walk on the thorns here. Or Grimwall can't, but... Olmec is made of stone. So he has no problem. The pumpkins appear to light up, but why? Hmm. Looks like we can interact with them. Nope. Yeah, all you need to do here is repeat the pattern. And it's pretty easy because although I don't know if you can see the pattern again, it might show up again if you walk away and come back. I'm not actually sure. But if you make a mistake... Nope. He will immediately tell you, so... Even if you don't remember, you can still get there just by trying every possible order. Kind of treating it like Simon says, I guess. So, middle right is first. Then bottom left. Then top right. Then top left. Middle left. And finally, bottom left, uh, bottom right. My God, they, they must have been illusions. Everything is. I think Max is starting to figure it out. Um. They were singing Ring Around the Rosie, which is not what the kids in the village were singing. A human skull. Just floating there. Makes sense. What is that? It looks like a giant... eye. I wonder if that's his eye. Not sure. Anyway, let's see if the skull is what... Um, this ghost thing wants. A human skull. A stone crypt. It came up out of the ground. Okay. Cement lid. Looks heavy. I can't do that. I can't do that. Seems like Olmec is not strong enough. But Grimwall's pretty strong. The head of the angelic statue. Wait, what? The head of the angelic statue. The statue from the first chapter that transported us to the village? What's that doing here? Alright, moving on. A bridge of thorns. Ouch. More thorns, which means we need Olmec again to get past that. Alright, that is one creepy looking clown head. It's even worse than the actual circus was. Clown nose. Let's see. Look like there's anything we can do with it. The angelic statue's left wing. There's a piece of the angel statue there, though. I can't do that. But we can't reach that. Hmm. There is... This game appears to be a test of strength. Hit the board and ring the bell. There is another thing here. It's, it looks like... Uh, almost like the Squid Squash game. <sighs> that didn't quite do it. Now you might be tempted to think that maybe you should use Sarah, because after all, she was able to beat the Squid Squash game. But no. Uh, that didn't quite do it. You actually need to go with the obvious choice, which is Grimwall, who is the strongest. Got it! 
Um, okay. The clown's mouth opened, and it's on fire. And its teeth are blinking colors. Now, you might have noticed that when you did that, and you can actually just do it again as often as you like. These... Got it. Skulls, I guess, also light up. And they do so in the order red, yellow, green, and blue. Which is... What do we need here? Why are these teeth flashing colors? I'm not putting my hand in the fire. But Olmec is un uh, Rimwell is unwilling to do that. Olmec, however, can, because he's stone. So we need to use that same order, which is red. And as before, if you make a mistake, it will immediately tell you. So the order is red, yellow, green, and blue. The clown's nose has popped out. Now there's a small hole. Huh. The clown nose broke to reveal a small hole. The clown nose broke to reveal a small hole. I can't do that. No, I think um, Olmec's a bit too big for that, so... Sarah to the rescue. She can squeeze in there. And get that wing. The angelic statue's left wing. Wonder what that is for. Switch back to Grimwell because he walks faster. Alright, moving on. This kind of looks like the tower in the asylum, just smaller. A stained glass window. An empty pedestal. Something's missing here. Something's missing. An empty pedestal. Something's missing here. I guess that's where the angel statue would go. But we only have a head and a wing. The head of the angelic statue. Now what? Seems like we would need a torso first before we'd be able to do anything with that. Let's keep looking around then. I can go up the stairs here. Hmm. Strong gates. Hmm. All right, gates that we cannot break, not even as Grimwall, I guess. Those webs will never hold my weight. They might hold Sarah's weight. Looks like we found an Aztec portion. A stone head. It seems to transmit energy to the statue. Um, sure, a statue back here. A statue of Quetzalcoatl. Okay. I'm not strong enough to move this thing. Yeah, I wasn't expecting uh, that Sarah would be able to do that. Energy coursing through the floor looks dangerous. Impaled Aztec warriors, they're screaming. Okay, is this their spirit or something? Spirits hovering above the dead warriors. I guess so. Energy coursing through the floor looks dangerous. Impaled Aztec warriors, they're screaming. All right, I guess they all give the same description. Is that really dangerous? No. It's so dangerous that it won't even let me try to walk across it. These plates on the floor look like they could move. I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay, I guess Sarah can't do that. Maybe Grimwell's strong enough? I can't do that. Huh. Olmec, then? No. I guess because he's the heaviest, being made of stone? Or maybe it's because this is Aztec, and that's, you know, his thing. Didn't do anything, though. That one stays down. 
And something's happening to the statue. Actually, can Grimwall move this? I could move this thing, but that other statue was in the way. Alright. No. Well, he's strong enough, but he still can't do it. A statue of Quetzalcoatl. No comment on what's happening to it? And that looks like it's wrong again. Um... Are these like Aztec numbers or something? Like one, two, three, four, five. I don't know the Aztec number system. Although these kind of look the same, so maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we need to find the correct order, and as far as I know, there is no hint for this one. You just need to use trial and error. The actual order is just this one, then the one all the way on the right. Then the one in the middle. Then the left. And then this one. That removed the statue, so now maybe Grimwall can push this. Right, that worked. A crystal monolith. There's something inside. Looks like another wing. But it's encased in crystal, much like the Wind Temple uh, totem. A crystal monolith. How do we break it, though? The floor energy is gone, though, so we can actually get to the warriors now. Ah, their wailing could shatter my eardrums. I guess that increases their wailing, and if it can shatter his eardrums, maybe it can shatter the crystal, much like the gongs did. So yeah, you just need to lower all of them. Which, as far as I know, does not matter what order you do it in. Kind of gruesome, but sure. A piece of the angelic statue was trapped in the crystal. Right wing of the angelic statue. Alright. Making progress. We still need a torso, though, at the very least. Um, let's see. I can go down here. A strange hut. It looks like the structures that made up the hive. All right, that's the only uh, thing we hadn't seen yet here. So it makes sense that it would show up, I guess. Ugh! Big maggots. A grate in the floor. There's a tunnel underneath. It's being covered by those maggots, though. A grate. It's annoying. I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. All right. I have to. I guess so. A honeycomb. Looks like something is inside. All right. Nothing in that one. An insect mandible. An insect mandible. Well, those were pretty sharp, so maybe we can use that to cut the cord. Or, you know, you could just switch away from cable. Not a good idea. You can actually not reach that. It is kind of higher up than it looks. It's not near the back. It's kind of near the middle. So that does not work. Sonic Disruptor. I've seen that before. Got underneath this weird cage, though. So we can't get it. Strange machinery. There are four control levers. Well, Grimwall has four arms. <coughs> the Disruptor is working. The grubs have moved away from the crate. Nice. A grate in the floor. There's a tunnel underneath. All right. I can't do that. It's too small, and we know what that means by now. A 
Where is this gonna come out? Oh, over there. Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. Alright, more thorns, so we need Olmec. I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. And from here we can reach the cord, so An we can cut it. Well, let's head back the way we came. Torso of the angelic statue. All right. Well, now I have a torso, two wings, and a head. So hopefully that is all we need. Can you get around there, thanks. Let's see. The torso of the angelic statue. That goes first. Better, but it's still not complete. Right wing of the angelic statue. Better, but it's still not complete. The angelic statue's left wing. Better, but it's still not complete. And the final piece is the head. The head of the angelic statue. The statue is reassembled, and a portal has opened. The real world must be close. I can feel it. I'd better move quickly. Yes, we want to wake up before whatever Dr. Morgan did kills us. Maybe that portal will help us. Morgan's Had last to game. Those columns. The real world lies beyond. This thing won't let me pass. What am I supposed to do? Seek the truth. We need to get over there, I guess. Morgan. Only he stands in my way. Background is phasing between skulls and someone's head. Grave. Um, is that my arm? I'm running out of time. Got to hurry. That's the IV dripping down, and indeed you are on a timer here. Once you know what to do, though, it's pretty easy to start over. A glass statue of Olmec. He's holding an orb. Hmm. A glass statue of Sarah holding an orb of some kind. This one's not glowing, though, so I'm betting we need to get to that one. Glass statue of Grimwall. He's got something in his hands. Same. We just need to go there, though, so... Oh. Um. Well, we learned two things. We can't get past our uh, mirror image here. Why are you going that way? Help! And um, if we stand, where black sludge on the floor—the same stuff that shadow creature is made out of—I better not step in it. If we stand where the sludge is, then we uh, 
get sent back to the beginning. So yeah, you basically just need to walk around find, finding places where you can safely stand in multiple versions of the floor pattern to get to the orbs. You are truly a great warrior. And our duplicate will do the same. So with each one you just kind of need to find the pattern. They're not too hard. Usually you just kind of need to go around the outside. Here you need to stand in the middle, I think, actually. Yep. Oh, that's revealing our head. You have the strength. No more games, Morgan. Alright, another one. Um, over here. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't think we can go anywhere from there. Let's try the other side then. And we can go to the corner. Alright, just in the nick of time, I think. You're my hero. I love you. Shadow is gone. You failed, Morgan. I'm gonna live! Enough games, Max. This ends here, now. Do you know that the poison will soon condemn you to darkness forever? Lost to your doomed world. Lost to your wife. Lost to your unborn child. It's over. Head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, Dr. Jacob Morgan, has resigned. This surprising development comes just a few short months after the corporation made its cure for the DNAV virus available to the public. Dr. Morgan's successor, Max Lawton, the man who discovered the DNAV cure, had no comment. The trial of Dr. Jacob Morgan, former head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, begins this morning. Federal authorities claim Dr. Morgan hindered the drug's development in an attempt to increase company profits. He may even have gone so far as to sabotage a researcher's car, an act which nearly prevented a true cure from ever being found. Prosecutors are confident that Morgan will be found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Threshold. That is the end of Sanitarium. And we finally get to see Max's face. And he and his wife had a baby, who can now grow up without fear of DNAV, I suppose. Can we get Max to work on COVID now? Vaccine? Cure? I'm not picky. Sanitarium is a very unique game. It presents an intriguing mystery that gets weirder and weirder as you progress through the different chapters, while small parts of it are slowly revealed. The story is interesting enough, and my only real complaint here is that there is no real way for the player to figure it out before the game spells it out. That is mitigated, however, by how the game keeps you guessing throughout about what's real and what's not. Even after the fact, it leaves room for speculation on which delusion represented what exactly. For example, I think that mother and the kids in the village represented DNAV itself and what it was doing to children, but a lot of this is open to interpretation. I don't consider the fact that ultimately all of it was in Max's head a cop-out. 
It fits the psychological horror nature, and everything we saw tied in with Max's real struggle to remember what happened and fight back against Dr. Morgan. If anything, I'm happy there wasn't anything supernatural at work here. I'm not a fan of supernatural horror, because it's so hard to do right without just being plain dumb, in my opinion anyway. The game is oozing with atmosphere. The locations, environments, and situations are bizarre and creepy, and they just keep ramping up the weirdness. It's never particularly scary, but I don't think that was really intended. Some parts are definitely a bit cheesy, for example the way Olmec talks, which is not helped by the overall very spotty voice acting. But if anything, it kind of adds to the charm if you ask me. The puzzles aren't too difficult overall. If you just talk to everyone and pay attention, you can usually figure it out. A few times I got stuck when first playing this game were without fail because I missed some interaction that was possible. Which, now that I think about it, is 90% of the reasons I ever get stuck in adventure games. All in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. It provides a unique, weird, creepy experience that is just so different from anything else I've played. And I love it for that, cheese and all. See you later and stay sane!